Well, it's a mo moody evening here. And I just said moody like that because I saw a massive bolt of lightning. I'm not sure if it was in the shot or not. I was gazing out off into the distance, but this is incredible. And now the wind's coming. Look at how this marula tree starts to shake and dance in the wind. Incredible. I could hear it coming. And now look at that. Fascinating. And there's all kinds of action. There's lightning to the right, there's lightning to the left. I'm not sure which way Tibbs wants to go and have a look, but either way, there's a lot of stuff going on out here. And let's hope all of this wind and lightning brings some rain. I think it's coming now. I can actually smell it. I'm going to actually rush for cover. I fear we might get caught out here. And I think we need to say goodbye because I can literally smell the rain and the dust. I'm getting out of here. I'm not taking any chances. Jeepers, this is quite something. I actually do just want to have one last look. And do you think the rubber tires will protect us? Negative, Joe Schreiber. Juma cam is no longer functioning. in the eye by a piece of dust. So with any luck everyone, by tomorrow it will be fine. What happens is the, the power does go. We're out in the wilds of course, and when big storms like this come through, it's very difficult to keep going. I'm going to stop here and we're just going to have a look around at the incredible lightning going on. Goodness gracious, I don't even know where to look. I might even take my camera out and take a picture. Of course, by the time I've set it up, the deluge will have begun. noble of Scott to have just run away like that and left me to deal with this vast tempest going on here. Right, let's try and take some kind of an interesting shot. Like shutter is open for 30 seconds, so we get some decent stuff there. It should be a good photograph. Which we'll try and show you, but I am moving my hands around. Woo! That was a good one. actually hear the idle control anymore. So, we, sp we spoke a little bit about a storm earlier possibly coming from Johannesburg and would this be the same one? Um, no, it is coming from that direction but I think this has been building over the mountains for some time. Quite astonishing. I tell you, the power, but so often it does this, it does this kind of thing and it doesn't actually storm. Right, one more photograph and then we're going to pack it in. It's quite warm, it's still warm out here. There's very little coof on the breeze. And so while we are hoping for some coof, there's very little. Right, the camera is taking its last 30 second exposure. The whole car is shaking in this tempestuous wind. Amazing lightning bolts, and with any luck, my camera would have picked some of them up. 
I can see the lightning also is lighting some of the rain coming out of the sky. Thirty seconds feels a very long time when you're holding a camera. I missed that one, of course. Right, I'll show you this picture, and then I think we're going to shut down everybody and go home. It just takes a while, me little camera, for it to uh, figure out a thirty-second exposure. This is magnificent. It's so special being out here. I tell you what. Wow. Come on. Here we go. I'm not even going to show you that. It's too ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. All right. Andrew? I think we should head for home. Yeah. Should we sit here for another three minutes? It may be dangerous. I think it's going to be a bit dangerous, everybody. We're going to pack it in. Um, I've now lost my lens cap. Not that it makes any difference at all. Okay, so I'm afraid, everyone, we don't have anything to cut to on the Juma Dam cam because obviously it's gone down. And so I'm just going to uh, silhouette myself against the lightning. How's that look, Andrew? <laughs> Amazing, does it? Yeah. I do my best. Um, thank you all for your questions and comments today. We've had a wonderful day, and I'm sure you had an incredible time with Scott and those dogs. Incredible, really, to see them again, and I hope they're here tomorrow. I also hope we have some power. Thank you, Andrew, for your efforts. Big thank you to Scott and Tibbs, Nikki and Louise in the final control, and Alex the Russian knocking about fixing the um, virtual reality rig. We are going to leave you now. I, I can't even hear what they're talking to me anymore. The wind is too powerful. So we will see you in the morning, hopefully bright and early, 0500. Thank you again. Stay safe and happy. And if there's a storm like this brewing wherever you are, get inside now. Bye-bye.